over here. Did any of you guys have like a really bad cruise experience in the past that made you want to create your own special awesome Question is, had, did we have a bad ex cruise experience that made us want to create a good cruise experience? I got one. Uh, Storm and I were, as we have been before, <coughs> part of a, an acapella group called Da Vinci's Notebook. And in 2003, I want to say, 2003, 2004, uh, we had our own much smaller scale fan cruise event. There was something like 50, 60 people at it. Uh, and we announced our breaking up and that cruise. <laughs> oh. uh, and it was just timing wise. And it, you know, it's not like we all got on the ship and had a big fight and said screw this or anything. But uh, that, was, that, was, that made for a very interesting, we, it was at a meeting like this and that made for a very interesting meeting. And we, we did it, uh, we ended up doing the cruise because we, we shared the same booking agent and he had been saying, hey, you should do a cruise, you should do a cruise for all these different reasons. And we said, we're not doing a cruise, we're not doing a cruise. Cruise Finally. is dumb. Yeah. Why would you do a cruise? That's for old people. We just decided it, it did sound like fun and we had no preconceived notion. We knew the bare naked ladies, uh, they had their ships in dip for years. So that was really one of the things that we looked at as a sort of, yeah, this, this can be fun. So we were drawn to it. Uh, in my uh, acapella days, I went on a couple of cruise ships. Uh, the Whiffentoofs were actually hired to sing on uh, a couple of different cruise ships, and I had a great time. Uh, didn't work very hard and uh, spent a lot of time drinking. It was basically what it was. So that's, that's the kind of experience that I've tried to create for myself here. <laughs> what I didn't know, by the way, until Drew mentioned it, was apparently... Uh, thanks to the good time that your group had that year, that was the last year yeah. the, the Whip and Poops got hired to sing we had, we had a little too much fun. One of our, one of our members uh, spent a lot of time uh, naked hot tubbing <laughs> on the deck on the last night. I think he was jumping from the upper deck into the, into the pool. Uh, and then later he fell asleep on the floor of the team room. <laughs> And couldn't find his room. He had a towel. He had a towel. And couldn't find his room. It wasn't room. on him, but he had one. <laughs> it, was right, it was right as we were coming, we were pulling into New York Harbor, and uh, it was the QE2. We were in the QE2. <laughs> I mean, across the Atlantic. We were coming to New York Harbor at 6 in the morning in the Statue of Liberty there, and apparently at that, at that point, the ship's radio was a buzz with uh, people reporting sightings of a naked guy in a towel <laughs> stumbling around trying to find his room. Uh, he had to uh, he had to write a letter of apology to the captain uh, before they let him leave. The greatest sentence of which was, uh, "Unfortunately, I cannot recall any of the events of the previous." Evening. <laughs> so yeah, that was the last time the last time the Whiff and Poops uh, did a did a cruise ship because uh, we had too much fun. But I will I will say in answer to your question, uh, no, I haven't been back on the QE2 either. No, I was good though. I didn't make any trouble. You know me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I will say, in answer to your question, the, I haven't had any bad cruise experiences, but I think a lot of the things we do are informed by our con experiences. Uh, and there are good cons and there are bad cons. And I'm not going to name any names, but certainly from the perspective of, uh, you know, a performer at a con, you know, we're keenly aware of when, uh, when the con is making it easy and fun for us and when they are not making it easy and fun for us, and when the con is well organized, and when the con is not well organized. Uh, so I think that to the extent we are reacting to bad experiences, there's a lot of that in, in what we do, is making sure that we know what, we know what makes for a bad experience. It's lines, it's crowds, it's... it's uh, lack uh, of information. Lack of information, it's... Uh, uh, you know, it's it's over over programming, and especially on a cruise ship, you know, you got to leave time for people to actually be able to relax and enjoy themselves and sleep and stuff like that. Um, and you've got to you've got to make the experience fun for the performers as well. It's got to be fun and easy for them. That's a big priority for us, and I think it's one of the reasons that we've been able to get performers on board that wouldn't otherwise do a cruise. Uh, is because they know other performers who have been on board and who have had a great time. And really, you should know this, that the, the performers come away, every single one of them, uh, come away from this experience saying, that audience is the greatest audience I have ever played for. And really, the, the performers who come on board do it um, 
uh, who knows why they do it the first time. But the ones who come back don't come back because we're paying them a ton of money. They come back because it's an amazing, fun experience. And that comes from you guys as well. So thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, sure. A hand for yourselves.